In 1831, a young man leaving university was offered the chance of a lifetime. That was to completely change our understanding of the natural world. That man was Charles Darwin. Darwin was to join HMS Beagle on a round-the-world voyage as ship's naturalist and gentleman companion to the captain, Robert Fitzroy. The Beagle sailed round the coast of South America surveying and collecting natural history and geological specimens. In September 1835 the Beagle arrived at a small archipelago about 600 miles off the coast of Ecuador. These were the Galapagos Islands. <music> The modern visitor to the Galapagos is more likely to arrive on a jet airliner from mainland Ecuador before transferring to a small passenger boat to begin their exploration of the islands and their many wonders. Perhaps the first encounter that a visitor may have with the island's wildlife is to visit the highlands of Santa Cruz to see the giant tortoises. These creatures live in the woodland and go to the pink lake to cool down in the mud. One of the few towns in the Galapagos is on Santa Cruz. Puerto Ayora has shops, hotels and a fish market, which attracts some of the local inhabitants, especially sea lions and pelicans. The largest of the Galapagos Islands is Isabella, which has a great variety of landscape and wildlife. One of the most spectacular sites is the Sierra Negra volcano with a crater 10 kilometers across. It is reached by a bus journey and a long walk through the lush woodland. In contrast to the highlands, back on the coast the mangrove lagoons are home to pink flamingos and other birds. Giant tortoises are also to be found wild on the Isabella. At Urbina Bay they can be seen making their slow and ponderous way amongst the undergrowth. Eating their favourite food, the small wild apple, that is extremely toxic to humans, but the tortoises can eat without harm. The area is also home to the land iguana, which can be seen feeding on vegetation. Marine iguanas are to be found throughout the islands and despite their fearsome appearance, like their cousins the land iguanas, they are vegetarian. They spend most of their time on the rocky shore, and to feed they swim out into the sea and feed on the algae which grows on the rocks. Whilst they are in the sea, they absorb salt, which is later expelled through their nostrils. The largest animal to be seen is the sea lion. After the mating season, the females can be often seen with their pups, which they rear for up to three years. The pups can be very curious and will sometimes approach very close to the visitor. If you have the opportunity, then snorkeling opens up a whole new world. Best known of the Galapagos birds are the blue-footed booby and the frigate bird. The blue-footed boobies have an elaborate courtship display, with the males making a distinctive whistling sound to the female. The male frigate bird has a distinctive red throat pouch, and in the breeding season when a female flies overhead, it spreads its wings and displays its pouch in order to attract a mate. On the island of Bartolome is one of the most iconic sites of the Galapagos, the famous Pinnacle Rock. 